Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Global warming is the gradual increase in temperature of our planet's atmosphere and oceans that's actively changing the planetary climate. The main causes may be attributed to past and present human activity, consisting of land clearing, agriculture, the burning of fossil fuels, as well as other factors that contribute to the expansion of the greenhouse effect. Life on Earth is dependent on the sun's energy. After reaching the atmosphere, about half the sunlight passes through the air and clouds to the surface. It's then absorbed and radiated upward in the form of infrared heat. Certain gases like methane, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide last in the atmosphere for years to centuries. They block and trap heat radiating from the Earth into space, which leads to warming and climate change on a global scale. There are people that debate or deny existence of global warming, but the scientific consensus is that the Earth is experiencing a steady increase in temperature and that the long-term effects may be devastating. Next, we'll take a look at the areas most affected by climate change, how it's set to affect the world in the future, and what we can do to help prevent it. Number six, Rio de Janeiro. Current projections indicate that if global warming goes unchecked, Rio de Janeiro will be the most affected out of all the South American cities. By the turn of the century, the water levels will be high enough to flood the city's airport, beaches, and even some neighborhoods that are further inland. Aside from that, the increase in temperatures and humidity will most likely result in drinkable water shortages and the spreading of respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. NASA representatives have already met with Rio de Janeiro officials to discuss how these problems will be handled in the future. Number 5. Venice From the perspective of tourism, the city of Venice, Italy is one of the most loved cities. Whether it's the city's famous carnival, gondolas, art galleries or the Piazza San Marco, it has an undeniable draw. The fact that the city is slowly sinking certainly isn't new and has been going on since its foundation long before global warming was seen as an issue. However, as the sea level keeps rising, it may lead to more serious inundation, accelerating the problem that the city already has. Locals have already come to expect floods in parts of the city, including the Piazza San Marco. By the turn of the century, some scientists argue that Venice will be swallowed whole by the Adriatic Sea. Artists and activists have banded together to raise awareness about this issue. One massive sculpture by Lorenzo Quinn sends a powerful message of how precious and precarious the city is. Created in 2017, it shows two large hands reaching out of the Grand Canal as if to draw attention to the city's future. As the name of this phenomenon suggests, the effects of global warming can already be felt all over the world. The melting of the polar ice caps is a well-documented process, but there are other areas that suffer extensively from the negative impact of climate change. Global warming is projected to continue over the course of this century and beyond, its magnitude depending on the amount of heat-trapping gases that continue to be emitted worldwide. Projections on the extent of the damage to come range from reserved to apocalyptic. The global ocean will become warmer and it will continue rising, threatening coastal regions with storm surges and high tides. Precipitations will change patterns with heavy rainfall and floods becoming more common and more devastating in some areas. Hurricanes have already become stronger and more frequent in the past decades, and this is set to increase. There are already discussions in the scientific community that a Category 6 scale might need to be created. Numerous species of plants and animals will continue to suffer as a result of climate change. Global temperatures will steadily rise and the planet will most likely see an increase in drought, wildfires and heat waves. A surge in temperature, in its most basic sense, can lead to more people suffering heat strokes 
especially those suffering from pre-existing conditions, unable to adapt to the extreme weather conditions. Georges C. Benjamin, executive director of the American Public Health Association, described the process stating, at some point, your body begins to heat up just like any other object. You go through a variety of problems. You become dehydrated. Your skin dries out. Your various organs begin to shut down. Your kidneys, your liver, your brain. As gross as this may sound, you in effect cook. Number four, Great Barrier Reef. Truly one of the natural wonders of the world, the Great Barrier Reef spans more than 1,400 miles off the northeast coast of Australia. It's the planet's largest coral reef system and a major attraction for those passionate about exploring the mysteries of the ocean. Unfortunately, the reef system has lost some of its allure in recent years. Rising ocean temperatures have led to a large-scale coral bleaching in which the coral turns white and dies. In recent years, mass die-offs have claimed more than half of the reef's corals. Number three, Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest is known as the lungs of the world for its ability to absorb large amounts of carbon dioxide and for its production of oxygen. It may be regarded as a major natural ally in the fight against global warming. It covers over 2 million miles with around 16,000 species of trees. Not only that, but it's also known for its bountiful and incredibly diverse flora and fauna. It's hard to imagine a world without the Amazon rainforest, yet climate change has made it a more fragile environment. Extreme droughts have left tree species in the area parched and more prone to forest fires. According to NASA experts, should the dry season extend to more than five to seven months, trees in the Amazon will begin to die off. As it stands, the dry season is less than a month from that threshold. There are measures being taken and policies put in place by governments around the world to prevent climate change. For the purpose of this video, we'll focus on the things that everybody can do to help. Some consider global warming to be a hoax or regard it as an issue that's not of immediate concern. On the other hand, there are many people who find the scientific evidence to be irrefutable and believe that action should be taken as soon as possible. Therefore, a first measure for them would be to raise awareness about global warming. You can voice your concerns via social media or by talking directly to your elected officials. Try to make a transition towards renewable energy like wind or solar and try to make your living space more energy efficient. This can be done by sealing drafts and making sure that it's properly insulated as well as purchasing energy efficient appliances and light bulbs. Aside from the beneficial impact they have on the environment, hybrid and fully electric cars may also save fuel and money. If you don't want to make the transition, frequent tune-ups and simply making sure your tires are properly inflated can help reduce gas consumption. Saving water can help to reduce carbon pollution because it takes a lot of energy to treat, pump and heat the water we use. The production of food also uses a lot of energy and a simple contribution would be to waste less of it. There are many other things you can do to help the fight against global warming. The first step is getting the correct information so you can then decide to what extent you're prepared to get involved. Number two, Yamal Peninsula. The indigenous Nenets people in Russia's Yamal Peninsula have had to face the consequences of climate change head on since their establishments are part of the Arctic Circle. Yamal, which in the language of the indigenous people translates as end of the land, has started to experience unpredictable weather and a shortening of the vital winter season in recent years. The Nenets people mainly rely on reindeer husbandry to support their families. In 2013, unusually warm weather brought rain to the peninsula, which then froze into a thick layer of ice. The reindeer couldn't dig through the ice to find food, so thousands of animals starved to death. Russia's far north is set to experience more unpredictable weather in the future, which is actively threatening the livelihood of the Nenets people. Number one, Alaska. Alaska is more than double the size of Texas, and its vast wilderness explores a plethora of natural beauty for adventurers to enjoy. 
yet because it's close to the Arctic, the region is already suffering major changes from the negative effects of climate change. These come in the form of permafrost melt, sea ice retreat and coastal erosion. Receding ice caps cause landslides so massive that they show up on the Richter scale. In the past 10 years, high temperatures have led to an increase in wildfires that have claimed an unprecedented amount of Alaskan forests, a figure that's set to increase twofold by 2050.